Alrighty, so here we've got Buster's Quest Trials of Hamsterdam being played on the PS4. So we've got options. We have music, sound effects, speedrun music, customized character, and back. Uh, speedrun, new game, continue. I'll do new game. You can play as Buster or Buster Arena. I'll go and play as Buster. When you start the game, uh, when you start a new game, you have the ability to customize both Buster and Buster Arena. You can change Buster's hat, or helmet rather. I'm going to go ahead and make it a, an awesome blue color. There we go. Now, the only downside, really, to this menu system is the fact that you have no idea. It, it's it's hard to get from the left or right side back to the main section for some reason. I think it's because the indicator is so small. Uh, you can turn buttons, Buster's helmet on or off. That's kind of cool. You can make Buster Arena have one or two bows. I want to start the game. So this game is very similar to that of like Adventures of Lotho or even uh, a little Medusa a little bit. So he plays Buster here, um, and he's on a quest to find Buster Arena. You collect hamster clues, and then those hamster clues uh, get you to collect the key. You collect the key to unlock the chest. You unlock the chest, or you grab the chest to get to the exit. Um, now. Okay, so I'll go into it here. So Buster has lost his best friend, Busterina. He has set out on a quest to find her. Collect the clues, find the key, open the chest, and go through the path to the next level. Now, the game just explained to you what each element on in the level does, right? Well, this is about the only grab I have with the game. Here we go. Buster will come across items that will help him on his quest. To pick them up, walk on top of them. You picked up a very first clue. Once you find all the clues in the level, the key will appear. You can see the number of clues in the level at the top of the screen. Okay. So actually, I did, so it didn't explain hamster balls, which is right, which are right here. Great job. Now, now Buster can shoot enemies with the square button to turn them into hamster balls. When an enemy is a hamster ball, it can be pushed on the map. Shoot the enemy hamster ball a second time to destroy it completely. Okay, so we kill the snake. Okay, I'm grabbing the clues. Now, what happens when you grab the key? Great work, you got the key. Now the treasure chest is open. Collect the treasure chest, reveal the path to the next level. Okay, so you can move the treasure chest. Fantastic job, you got the treasure. This reveals the path to the next level. Just walk on it to advance to the next level. Why did it need to repeat each thing you've already collected when it already told you pretty much the entirety of what these things were when you first started the level? That makes no sense and is completely redundant. I don't understand why they went ahead and went that direction, but it is what it is. So, um, each of the puzzles of the game are pretty self-explanatory. They're not too difficult. Um, one design choice I really don't quite understand is the fact that you can only use the D-pad on the PS4 controller. You cannot use the analog stick. The analog stick, for whatever reason, is reserved for menus only. That seems like a very odd design decision, and I don't quite understand it. But, it is what it is. And I already messed up. Okay. So, come on, oh, I need to restart. So if you get stuck, you need to restart the level. Um, I got stuck because you're supposed to kill, or you're supposed to put one of the snakes in the hamster ball. You can't put both in there because you only have access to two hamster balls for this one, uh, for this second level. Um, enemies can't kill you. That is something to keep in mind. They cannot kill you. Uh, you can touch them all day long. They won't do anything to you at all. The only way you can lose life, um, as far as I've been able to tell thus far, is by falling into uh, either a running stream or a running um, uh, 
okay, I guess a stream of water or a flowing river of, of lava, I guess, would be the, the, the two ways you can die. Which is really only one way if you think about it. Now, I do like how the, each, how the game um, g uh, gradually introduces um, st uh, elements to the game. Um, and the levels coming up. Um, it'll introduce, like, uh, a flowing river, and then it'll do a uh, river of lava. It'll then introduce uh, a uh, uh, conveyor belt system. So it's, it's pretty cool in the way that it implements um, various things gradually. I do like that. It doesn't, it doesn't just throw something at you and say, here, figure it out. So I do definitely appreciate that. And the game's very easy to get into. It's very kid-friendly. Uh, it's not too difficult. Um, I like how cute little hamster is. Um, so yeah, that's the... This has this been uh, Buster's Quest. Um, a really fun puzzle game. Um, that's very kid-friendly. And I uh, thank the publisher for the opportunity. This game is definitely worth worth checking out. If you're a fan of puzzle games, you want a kid-friendly puzzle game, this game's worth it. Definitely worth it. I just wish that um, you had the ability to use an analog stick and not just the D-pad, because I feel the D-pad just isn't quite where it should be. Um, uh, the analog stick definitely works better for, for most games. And uh, that'll do it. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.